You know, there's the competition and then there's the country. The Beijing Olympics really give us a look at the city on the other side of the world. But Chinese heritage can be found all across Indiana. In fact, Scott visited some of the spots that are right here in the U.S. Yeah, you're right, Ann. We couldn't go to China this year because of this pandemic, so we changed our coverage plans. You know, we thought it would be really fun to visit Chinatowns across the United States, so we went to San Francisco, Chicago, and New York City. We met lots of Chinese Americans, heard their stories, learned their culture, and ate some amazing food. A visit to Chinatown. Any Chinatown is a feast for all five senses especially taste. What's the best restaurant in Chinatown? Oh, you're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> this is Chef Special Chili Chicken. There's vegetarian. Roast pork. Noodles. I can eat noodles every day. There's so much to choose from. Mongolian beef. Peking duck. Wonton noodle soup. The choices can confuse. This is a fruit tea. Everything is reasonable. Egg tart. Cheap. Even overwhelmed. Oh my god, I, I could eat like a king for next to nothing. But don't worry. Oh, here it comes. To experience one of China's most famous foods. Oh, what do I like about dim sum? You only have to know. This is our dim sum. Two little words. Dim sum. Dim sum. Dim sum. Tell me what dim sum is. So dim sum is a Cantonese tradition, and the word dim means to touch, and sum is your heart. I love how when people push out the card with a steam, and they open up the lid, show me all the ready-to-go dishes. Everything is small bites, little things that delight you, and they should be visually appealing. And some people call it Chinese tapas, where I always call tapas uh, Spanish dim sum. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost homemade. There's so much care in its preparation. A dim sum experience. I can have a little bit of everything. Is all about variety. You know, you can have shrimp over here. You can have pork over here. And if you want vegetable, you can have the spinach dumpling. And it's a fun thing to do with friends. We ate dim sum with new friends in New York. They should have different aromas, textures, flavors. San Francisco. It's a good thing you like trying everything. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Chicago. Let's try the baby octopus. Oh, uh, let's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in every place. Do you mind if I serve you? Absolutely. The conversation and the dim sum. It was all memorable. You can take the chicken feet and just have a bite of it. It's really good, actually. It's been said food is the key that opens the door to another culture. And so it is with dim sum. They all look so yummy and so warm. It just comforts me. A delicious way to experience the spirit of China. Oh, that's good. Right? How does it make you feel when you eat this? I'm always happy. <laughs> it's true, it works. I love dim sum. It's amazing how food just brings people together. Oh, it does. So I saw you mention their octopus, and right. then I saw the, the two chicken feet sitting <laughs> right. there. Did you, when you said, mm, this is good, is that what you just had? So the octopus I ate, uh -huh. the chicken feet I left on the plate. I passed. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Looks yeah. interesting. I didn't have any interest in that. But yeah. everything else was great. And the dim sum experience is great because you bring friends and family together. You mm -hmm. can spend hours doing it. It really is tasty food. So yeah. I'm a fan now. All right. Well, thanks. <laughs> for bringing us that.